Ladies and gentlemen, as usual, the official opening of NSL Live Talk. <laughs> and we don't have somebody new there on the other side, Gary Smith. We are doing it on a regular basis. Thank you for taking the time. You are in Qatar. Yes, yes. You're very it's welcome. Been it's been a long time for me. And the, you had two teams to work with again. Yes. As usual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and one of the teams is creating worldwide headlines. And Good that talk. is... <laughs> 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 so, uh, well, they got the uh, silver medals again, so that's cool, you know, for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about Qatar later. I think we should begin with Hayabusa, probably. Yeah. That was a shocker, Andy. It's yeah, really big good. news, eh? It's big news. And uh, I, I mean, it's a compliment to them and it's a compliment to Andy when it becomes such big news that he can't even answer all his Facebook posts yeah. <laughs> of people wishing him luck that shows you what a legend he is, you know? Yes, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Everybody I've, I've talked to, you know, in my little um, NSL four-way, eight-way world knew about it already. So that word really spread. <laughs> In fact, I think it. I think it was me that told you, correct? Um, I th I think so. Yeah. I think you told yeah. me, yeah. And that was yeah. like it was not even a day after uh, he made. Yeah, this it I was. Guess. Yeah, a day later. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's how we are connected these days. Now, pretty amazing. Yeah. So anyhow, he is leaving. So I mean, you know, going into this, all the whys and what happened and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to save that. Because that's, yeah. uh, you know, they will, um, they will or will not um, say what is going on. Fact is, he is leaving a little bit surprisingly, right? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, if I can quickly make a short summary of it, I, I knew that there was a chance that Andy might leave the team as well before we arrived at the meet. Um, they, they, they acted and behaved super professionally. Um, I mean, of course, it was all um, on, on Andy. So I knew that he was in a little bit of a, a different place, if I can put it. But if you watch the jumps of Hayabusa, they, they jumped professionally. They, they did everything they needed to do and, and more. They jumped very, very well. They had one or two jumps that, of course, they were not happy with. But considering the circumstances, and I go even without that, uh, they, they waking up and that's everybody, you waking up at 3.45 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m. and 4.15, you're in a bus driving to the drop zone, which is 40 minutes away. And then, uh, and then you're sitting there and you sometimes you make one jump a day. So I take my hats off to them. Um, in the beginning, you said I was coaching them. Yes, I'm their coach, but in SISM, I, I hardly help. I look at them and I had a lot of meetings and talks with the teams, more about the situation than, than the jumps. But to be honest, they don't, they don't really need me in the SISM. So I'm, I'm fully 100% uh, focused on Qatar. But, but with Andy, uh, hats off to him. Uh, he had to deal with this whole process. Um, and then, of course, the team and competition. I think they knew the decision was coming. And uh, I respect and, and I've always admired Hayabusa. I've said to Andy, honor to coach him. And, and for me, it was one of those things that just watching their professionalism about going about their business in the sky and on the ground in front of everybody, it was good to be. Good to be a part of. And, uh, and yes, we all, as a team, we wish Andy the best in the future. I know I will see him. We are good friends. And I'm for sure he's going to be one of the best coaches out there as well. The team called him in the um, in the response to his official announcement. They called him the best flyer in the world. You you've seen all the top flyers on the planet in the world. Would you agree with that? Uh, one hundred percent. I mean, I think I said. In my comment to him, I said one of the most. And when I read my own comment, I thought it was a mistake. But of course, I know in Hayabusa, there's also fantastic flyers. So I kept it at that. But for sure, from coaching Andy, I, I would say he's the most naturally talented flyer I've been with. You put him in a wingsuit, you put him in the wind tunnel. He doesn't need coaching. He just watches somebody else and he just does it. And you see other people, they take coaches to learn to do things and Andy without coaching deals with it and super, super good natural flyer. 
And I think, of course, one of the nicest people on the planet as well. Yeah, it will be sad not to be able to see him on a regular basis any longer performing his thing. You know, he is, I mean, if, even if he goes with another team just for fun or whatever, it's not going to be the same. Yeah. I, I wish I gives him the platform to expose his incredible skills. You know, so. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I, I would think, and he's a competitor, he might be out there and he might be picked up by somebody. There's no doubt. So let's hope we do see him. But I agree with you. To be at that top level, you need a top team. And then, and, then, and then it goes with Hayabusa. Hayabusa, I mean, Andy has been the platform uh, in, in Hayabusa together with Dave, of course. Dennis arriving, Mikey joining. So there, there is a huge amount of experience and skill in the team. So it, it will be hard for Andy to find a team as uh, skillful as these guys that he's leaving. Yeah. Well, the the bigger implication, I mean, it's, you know, tough enough for all of us not to be able to see him, uh, you know, as frequently any longer as we have, luckily, fortunately. Um, the implication it's almost, is... It's, yeah. I'm sorry, it's almost like Messi retiring, right? Yeah, for the soccer, yeah exactly. For the, Me for the soccer right. players. For yeah. the non-soccer players, I'm sorry. It'll it'll be like, what's his name? Tom Brady. Tom Brady yeah. is stopping. But but for, for football, yes, we're losing the Messi. We're losing the Messi of uh, Skaravin. Oh, and it's, uh, but but, but we, we've been fortunate to watch him, right? And we have the videos, so we can look at him at any time. We just look at the videos when he was with the team. And there we go. Exactly. Well, but the implications on, um, on the top level, I mean, there is, the timing is perfect on his side i mean i would want to retire after winning another world championship you know that's that's a well chosen timing for that um you know yes. you want to you want to leave on the top of your of your level and not when you're on the way down or you know i mean if you want to retire whenever you feel like but um it, the timing is is a good timing but now the hayabusa however they're going to look like they have less than a year to get ready for for the yes. defense in Eloy, so what what's going to happen? Are they going to pull David from his camera set back in the lineup? Yeah, for me, that would be the most logical uh, step. I would put Dave straight back in uh, into his slot, and Mikey, who's come from the outside center in uh, Amnesia in Italy, he knows the slot, but yes, he's going to have to learn it. But we all know we can put him in the tunnel. He can learn a lot of the grip management, a lot of the moves with Dennis. But that would be, I think, the number one choice. Dave comes back down. Um, and, and of course, in the front pair, we can switch. Dennis can also do the, the uh, outside center. So that would be a bit of a puzzling as to who goes where. But uh, for me, uh, no, uh, no uncertainty. I would put Dave straight back into inside center. He knows that he can read the play. He's got the best eyes out there in the world. And, and he's been with uh, Bob. So, so the back piece, you know, the, the back piece knows they, they've been world champions before. So in that sense, I think you strengthen up uh, one pair uh, with Dave coming back in and, uh, and then uh, Mikey and, and Dennis need to sort it out. So that, that would be plan A. Plan B, of course, uh, Dave is not, his dream is not to stay in the team. That's why he stepped back to give Mikey the choice is they need to find somebody else. And can they get somebody to join the military, put them in the wooden tunnel? Uh, see, there are talents out there you know, in Belgium, but it's a case they need to get them into the military. So, so that would be a more, more of a long term, but we'll see how that goes. There were other people who have tried to get into Hayabusa lineups um, already earlier. I think, uh, you know, you just mentioned the German. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there was Katie Woods, you know, there's an open yes. slot again. She was yeah, yeah. close. You know, I, she... I, I think for any uh, four-way enthusiast, uh, it would be a dream to get onto a team like that. And if I can tell a small joke, I was sitting in the foyer of the hotel where Hayabusa was having a coffee now with, with, with Dennis and Mike waiting to see Andy. And, and, and uh, I will join up with Andy later, hopefully today. Um, and the German delegation, the SISM delegation came past and a couple of the youngsters stopped by and said, hey, they, they were available. They, were, they would join the Belgian military if they had to as a joke. But, uh, I mean, there are people out there. So, That's yes, right it across might, uh, the border. It's much closer than Italy. Exactly, exactly. Over the border <laughs> in Belgium. <laughs> yeah. 
And uh, it, it would take some time, but that would be the long term. But the good thing is the Hayabusa name will continue. The team will go on. And it might take them a year, a year, a little bit longer to go uh, to, uh, to, to get back to where they were. Um, but that's the decision has been made and it happens in all sports and they have, they've, they've accepted it and they have to move on. Uh, so David has officially already um, confirmed that he will be available. He, he's available, but that's not the official decision. No. So, so, you know, we, we know it's an option. We know it's an option, but for example, if a new guy comes in and, and we think this guy can be the, the new Andy, then it's a case of you have to look at all the cards on the table. We know that there's a, a scissor meet that's very important for uh, Hayabusa, the scissor meet in Austria, it's in six months. But it would be very easy to put Dave back into the team just for the scissor meet. Um, and then they'll, they'll come up against Qatar, against Germany, a very strong German scissor uh, group right now, youngsters, super good flyers, a lot of them in the wind tunnel all the time. So that's Germany. Military is getting stronger and stronger. Um, and then, of course, it's the big, uh, the big uh, FAI um, meet would be in Eloy. Uh, what do you do for Eloy? So either you throw it out and you just say, you know what, we go for experience and we, and we take a second or a third or a fourth and we bring a new guy or we put Dave in and we fight against airspeed. So it, it's a tough decision and, and I don't think we can say now uh, what will happen. That, that will, I think by the time Shamrock maybe, Uh, early February uh, is not great for us or uh, late, later would be better. But I think by the time March comes, end of March, we kind of know which plan we'll go with. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think it is uh, beginning of March. I'm not quite sure. Beginning, look it beginning up. Yeah, sorry, beginning of March. Yeah. Yeah, we have first the uh, indoor meet at Paraclete, you know, and then the following. Exactly. Meet, I think yeah. yeah. So I think for them, because it's winter for them, they will do one or two outdoor camps, maybe in the US, Hayabusa. Now I'm speaking a bit out of turn. I, I do know their program, but it, it's probably changing as we speak. But the best for me would be that they go indoors, go indoors, fly, take a new guy, get everybody ready. Mikey has to switch to the outside center, get, get Mikey and Dennis flying before you go and jump. And if they do, yes, a, a short amount of jumps, no problem. But I would say you need to get into the tunnel as fast as possible. But so they have to be ready for different um, um, options, actually, because if a new guy begins training with them, he will not be sent there inside. I mean, uh, you know, then no, no, he will go. My my guess is he he, he would. It depends. Uh, let me. I, I don't even know the, the names or whatever. But if they have new guys applying, it would be a case of who goes where. You know, so and they are the more you. Enough. Yeah, they're good. But the more you shuffle, the weaker you become for the short term. Long term may be better, but short term for sure. Uh, you cannot expect Bob to run the inside center as much as I have his uh, full respect for Bob. And then he's got a new tail, you know. So it, you have to be careful how much you shuffle in the short term. So all of a sudden, um, the chances for Arizona ESP have gone up quite a bit yes. to, yeah, yeah. To, win, to win it back. And then at the same time also... The Qatar Tigers. I mean, they did yeah. well in they did well at the season meet, right? Yes, they're getting better and better. And unfortunately for them, you, you you're up against a team like Hayabusa, wherever you compete in. If you're going to an FAI Mondial or an FAI meet, you you've got uh, Belgium, USA, and then when you go to SISM, you still got Belgium in the in the ranks. But for sure. Um, I, I'm happy and proud. I told the Tigers uh, two, three days ago when we finished the meet that I'm proud of where they are, but we all understand what work we need to do. And, and I've gone and I've timed the, the, the SISM blocks that Hayabusa put together against Qatar so we can see where the strengths and the weaknesses are. And to be honest with you, there's not too much difference. It's just that Hayabusa is so quick and they don't make mistakes. You know, so and, and Tigers can have the same speed, but sometimes there's a little hiccup in one page. And on a SISM fast, when you're averaging 33, 34, 35, if you lose two, three seconds, it's one, two, three points. And it's so small. I watch the jumps and I go, well, it's hard to see the difference. And it's boom, boom, boom. You know, the end of a, the end of a block and you take the next three randoms and uh, it's done, you know. Yeah. So, so I think that the Tigers only lost by less than two and a half or 2.8 points per jump. And if you work that in seconds against the world champions, it's, it, it was for me an incredible achievement. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so that that is you know a year. So they they are definitely closing the, the somehow the distance. You know, whatever the reasons are for that doesn't really matter. But as long as they get better, you know, and the the top teams are kind of stagnating, you know, then it's a closer distance. Yeah. So that makes it more interesting. You know, that that's surely that's a good thing. Whenever it becomes yeah, yeah. more interesting, I, you know. I mean. I agree. Wouldn't wouldn't it be great if we go into uh, Arizona? Eloy will come. Uh, will meet, and and it was Hayabusa, Arizona ASB, Qatar Tigers, France, Russia, Sweden, all, whatever, all fa- know, Russia, Sweden, all fighting yeah. and out. Instead yeah. of going, well, it's only between two teams. So and all one team. So so uh, the more we can fight, the the better. So now that uh, when if David is coming, uh, giving uh, he is uh, coming back from behind the camera to the front of the camera, you need a new camera too. So th- th- that must already they must be looking around already in for video too for you know for the team. Yeah, yeah. Are you available, Kurt? I yeah yeah I applied for <laughs> um, other teams already, but nobody wants me so far. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah. can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm not sure, but for for example, they could bring back Luke. You have to for for the military side of it. You have to be in the military. They could bring him back in. I'm guessing. Um, so in, in that, that's not the biggest worry right now. And for an FAI meet, you just have to be Belgium. So there's Grim from uh, um, oh, yeah. uh, from Belgium as well. There, there's Grim Sven, uh, so they have uh, in, in uh, from fire from fire flesh. So, so they have video men that they can bring. Of course, they'd want to train with them, but um, in in the in that sense, there's a. I don't think that's the big hassle. They can bring Sven back into the inside center slot. <laughs> that would trust be so me, lovely. <laughs> trust me, we've had Sven on the phone. <laughs> yeah, <you did. laughs> no, no, I, I've had some uh, chats with him, not not personally on on the through the phone, but on on WhatsApp. Yes. But uh, I think he's he's chatted with Andy as, as the father of Hayabusa. He's chatted with Andy. He's chatted with the group as well. So I think everybody respects Sven tremendously. And obviously his, his advice into the group has always been very, very welcome. And even between him and I, we, we chat. When we're chatting about things, it's, it's a, a big respect from me to him as, as one of the founders in, in Hayabusa. Lovely person. Every team could be happy to have him. Right now, it's for Fireflash sure. having him, so that's good for Fireflash. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see um, what's coming in that area, but he is, it, it's uh, definitely too much um, too much effort, too much time and all that for Sven, so he, is, he will be mentally involved probably to, um, to help the team as much as possible, but they are looking for a new Michele Silvi. Yes. Yes. They have, they have names. They have names as you would as you would uh, think in their heads that they've already gone. Hey, maybe this or that. But it's a case of getting that person to make this commitment. And on top of it, the bigger commitment, you need to go into the military, and you yeah. have to go and do your national service mm-hmm. in your basics training to 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 get into their team. I mean, they will just, have. Uh, it's not just a signature. You know, you you actually have to go and do your I think three months of basic training. They will, they will have David now at least you know for a while. But you know they they will definitely have him only for one year at the longest, right? If I understand that correctly. Well, yeah, that, uh, I mean that's my, know that, that's but... my no, that's my guess. You know, and uh, for sure they will. It's it's all new, uh, new news for all of us. I mean, we we kind of somehow guessed some of it was coming. Excuse me, but. Um, I'm thinking that right now, they, they, as anything, when you're in a relationship and it goes apart, there's so many things going on in your head. You're not 100% sure which way to go, and you just need time. And, and, and I think the brains are thinking, but sometimes overthinking. And, and the same for Andy. Andy now knows that he will get out of the team. He will probably leave the military, but there's different options for Andy. What does he do, you know? So for all of them, things are going on. Um, so, but I think within one or two or three weeks, we'll start to hear more and more of, of what which direction we're going. Okay. So what's coming up now for you, Gary? Uh, what ceremony is still to come, I guess, right? And, yeah, uh, big... 
a big day off tomorrow, and uh, I heard there's a big party in the German uh, room uh, <laughs> because they won all the medals. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't looked at it, but you told you said that yes, that yeah, they yeah, were very yeah. successful. Huh? Well, wow. um, no, yeah, the, the Germans are very good. I mean, the, these guys are true competitors, true athletes. They don't only do FS where they came third, but they do style and accuracy, junior, female, and, and they cleaned up. I mean, it was unbelievable to, to watch. And, and they and were they not celebrate. even missing, right? There was a fall. I mean, the season was totally China. unrespected. China, China, unfortunately. And Switzerland. And, 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 you know, Switzerland were there, but in the four-way... Um, they they sent the accuracy team, not not the airheads, which which was the FS team, because yeah. uh, for example, if they if the Swiss sent the airheads, then of course they could not train. They do not compete in accuracy or style. So, uh, but the Germans do everything. The the Brazilians, the the Czechs. So uh, I'm always amazed to watch. Sometimes you see these guys on the drop zone doing four way and and jump in, and and they're good. But then you watch them doing style and accuracy and you realize that, that these guys are complete. It's a, it's a complete skydiving right here. So it's good to watch. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. So yeah. well, you, 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 you're going back um, to the Netherlands soon? Yes. Well, the, it's a difficult one now. And, and I hate to bring this whole COVID thing up. But my, my plan is to go back after this meet on the 30th of November when we finish in a few days. There's a war, we have awards. And that's very big in the system because it takes so long. Uh, oh. Back to... We're losing you here for a little bit. Oh, oh sorry. No, it's, you got it's me? good again. No, it's good again, yeah. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Yes, yeah, so, so awards, awards on the 29th. Travel back for me on the 30th to Holland. And then we, we're in a... A discussion right now or um, decision making in Qatar whether we can go to the DIPC, the Dubai meet. Um, and, and we're hoping we have registered, but we haven't got the exact go ahead from our, our top boss. Tigers. So the Tiger and the H way will go. I think there is a Russian H way registered, so at least they get some competition, but it's not the Russian H way. Um, but, and then for me, the big thing is COVID if I travel back to Europe and have to come back again, the, the, the whole COVID spike, the new variant from South Africa, if everything closes again, who knows what's happening. So yeah, a bit of a worry, a bit of a worry with all the travel again. Yeah. Traveling is, it, it looked like it, it would become easier, but it becomes carried yeah. again. Oh, well, yeah. well, we hope we'll, you may, we'll make it back uh, safely. Um, or Thanks, wherever Fred. you're going. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you very Hopefully much you for the update. We will follow it now, of course, very carefully what's happening there in the, in the Belgian headquarters. And uh, yeah. hopefully we'll know more. And hopefully soon I will be able to talk with the whole team too. But things have to settle first, right? I mean, yeah. Oh, I think, I think they're open. I would love you to have an interview with Andy. I mean, I think Andy would uh, definitely, he would need a couple of days before he knows what he's doing. And it would be great for the world to see or know. And then, of course, the team, you know, and, and, and I think they're all open to it. You know, there, there's, there, there's nothing secret that they're hiding. So it's just a case of the, they will be open and honest about it all. Yeah, it would be interesting to talk to ESP too about the situation now. Exactly. <laughs> it's, I mean, wow. it would be interesting to talk with Andy. Anybody, everybody. Yeah, yeah. But, but like you said, I think for ASP, this is a, it's good news because you've taken a strong Hayabusa team. And uh, for sure, no matter who you put in there, as much as I respect Dave, they're going to be weaker than what they would have been with Andy. I think we all know that. So, uh, but let's see what happens. You know, yeah, I, I know, I know Hayabusa will always fight to, to win. So, you know. Let's take a quick look at the um, at the jumps actually, and give us some feedback on you know what, yeah. what you saw. Let's see where I, I think I had it already here somewhere. Share the yeah, there it is. So here we have that's Hayabusa. That's Hayabusa with Andy. So maybe we can you can we can um, debrief. What, what round? Is, what round is this? This is the I first think round. This is round one. It begins with okay. round one. Yeah. And yeah. you can explain, explain the rules a little bit too. I don't know if everybody really knows exactly by now, now the rules are working in the military. And so. 
Well, they, they start off because military, not everybody can practice as much as the top teams. And, and you never know uh, next year the, the world championship will be in Austria and it's out of a Black Hawk helicopter and you don't get to train it. You basically, if you're lucky, um, you, you do one training jump and the training jumps only from 5,000 foot. Mm -hmm. And on mm -hmm. that same jump, you have to do accuracy if you're accuracy um, competitors. So there's no, there's no messing around in, in SISM. You, you arrive there and if you jump out of a Pilatus or a, a plane in China that we've never seen before with a very small door, you, you have to take it. So because of that, they try and make it easier for the teams that you exit the star and you've got five seconds before you have to key the star um, and, the time, and the clock starts. So as soon as you key all five seconds, your time of 35 seconds begins. And the star always comes back into the, the which makes it a little bit easier. Let's uh, also first, let's point out Andy quickly because you know it's also something that is possibly not uh, clear for you know for some of the audience. But, but, bottom yes. of the screen, bottom of the screen, outside center, and you're going to see him. So he's right on the bottom, six o'clock. The yellow shoes. Or on my screen, sorry. And that's him turning. So they're doing, Ayabusa here took what everyone should do. They took the fast B and then what we call a roll through 14. So Andy and, and Mike had to kind of just keep going in the 14. With Qatar, we're not good at it. So we, did, we opted against it. We took the longer B, not the standard, but the other long B to give us a more standard 14. But it was definitely slower. So on this jump, I knew that Qatar would lose. But unfortunately... Hayabusa uh, had the great jump. But, Andy, um, outside, but, yeah, sorry, exactly. Andy, outside cent Andy's coming from inside the plane, yeah, although exactly. he's outside center. Yes, you know, though, so that's a, that's a right-hand pattern in Belgium. So he is the outside center, but he's exiting from inside the plane. So maybe yes. on the next one, we'll, we'll see that again. Yeah. So he's on the, the right-hand side at 3 o'clock now. He's the middle of the 21 finishing. You'll see him come out. And he goes into the inside of the of the A. Yeah, that is according to the left-hand um, continuity plan too. But the exit is different, and they're obviously turning the other direction always. Yeah, yeah. Nothing yeah. new with that. Oh, it's just a split second till the completion of 21 now. Yeah. yeah. Again, good jump for them. Um, and, and this was the one with Qatar, this jump that I, I was really disappointed because Qatar, the grip management was incorrect from the 21 to the C. And Qatar is normally very strong on 21s and we had very bad 21s on this jump. No excuse. Yeah, this, was with this was with block 10. This was not Hayabusa's strongest jump. Yeah, it looks like um, they have a different yeah. technique than the Qatar Tigers. You know, the Qatar Tigers, it looks like um, inside center is going on purpose um, a little more careful at the end. Yeah, yeah. Second, second half of the 10. Yeah. The Qatar Tigers are whipping it more. Hey, I'm getting a bad connection here, Kurt. I hope you can still hear me. I hear you well, yeah. Okay, um, okay. No problem, if you can still see it. That's probably yeah, it, 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 it jumps for me, but I've, I've timed the jumps this morning, so I kind of I, I kind of know it. But on, on, on the times they were, you know, very. You'll see that you'll see that the Qatar Tigers, if you watch their tens, one or two of them are actually quicker than Hayabusa. But the the, the strength of Hayabusa is the consistency. They finish yeah. blocks good. They they as the blocks are finished, they know where they're going. Everything is built the correct shapes. And they hardly ever get into trouble with that. They can, it looks like they could do that jump for another 50 seconds or another minute. Yeah, where let's sometimes... look at the Tiger Tigers just for the fun of it because it's a Mondial. So it's on the, or down here. So there's the Qatar Tigers. Um, let's look at them too. Now that, that's interesting because it's always Hayabusa, Hayabusa for a good reason. But um, <laughs> <laughs> the Qatar Tigers, um, you know, they... Am I still sharing the screen? Mm -hmm. You know, no, I, I'm not. So I'll have to go back. Yeah. No, it's already... yeah. If uh, look at look at Qatar Tigers round one was a very good one, and look at their round four. Don't don't look at round two or three. Okay, let's go back to I have it here. Round one coming. So now we are back sharing the screen and round one Qatar Tigers coming. Now I hope you can see it. Yeah, I can see it, but a slightly different engineering. They took a different F, same Q, but they took a different F.
Mine is in almost in slow motion here. Yeah, isn't it? I just want to say that, but it isn't. It's is real time, right? Just we just saw higher boots and then it's now they're picking up the pace. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, they, right? they, end, they end up one point behind Hayabusa, although Hayabusa did bust, but they had very good 11s, uh, the Tigers. Yes. yes. Um, and, uh, and, and for the rest, for, for round one, it was a good, strong round for, for Qatar. They took a standard F to get them a, a better M11. And that's the thing with a jump, like with SISM, when it's going so fast, you, you have to, from a from a team point of view or coaching point of view, you have to make sure that when you build a star, you are ready for the next point. Because if you relax in the star, you're too slow to go through it. So it, it's always for me important to make sure that when you, the point before the star, everyone's ready as they build in the star to go to the, the next block, which are, that one was 11. This one you can skip through if you want. This was not a... Yeah, that's the one you didn't like much. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Here's, here comes and, 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 and round three. So and, I would say go... Yeah, round three, the, you'll see that you can block. see round three, but this is a mistake. The, the 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 grip management on the C is not good. It's not correct. It was not the plan, and and then also the twenty ones. There, there's a couple of twenty ones where people are picking up grips, missing grips, falling on top of each other. <laughs> but the round the, the round four was was quite good uh, for them. That, uh, with that's the around with the with diamond. The diamond. Yeah. It would yes. be interesting to compare the diamond bunyips actually, and it's coming in. Yeah, like like the the second and the fourth uh, uh, block ten diamond, but but it's a case of as you finish the ten, you need to go through to the next points. So this would be the first one, I'm guessing, if I see on my screen. And now you come. There's a the second. It's so interesting that you know they have the slot switches in their dive pool. And then they have some, there's a cat here in as a random formation. Yes, because of the M, because of the star that comes up, they miss one random. So uh, they, they miss a random. So they made the cat as a random. And then unfortunately, or fortunate, came up with an L. So you have adder and then 15, which on the creepers is very easy, but in the sky, not so easy to do. So the one more time we I got under actually um, we we lost the focus of the diamond bunny up such you pointed out. Um, so we can look at this one more time. Is, is there any other round that we should look at actually? That we um, well, the, the good for them well, round four they beat Hayabusa although Hayabusa did bust, but um, Qatar did good. But the, the nineteen round five for Qatar very good. R round five they did good. Yeah. They did very good. Uh, Block 19, Ritz Ice Picks. They yeah. did, uh, they had a good jump. So that's coming anyway. Yeah, so let's, that's let's coming up uh, next. Um, round four, they beat. Uh, I think I thought they, they beat them on no, round one. seven. Round seven. Yeah. Round seven. Round four, they beat, uh, they, they were quicker on one or two of the block tens. Um, but again, I think they did 29 and Hayabusa on that round four did 31. And on this one, they they the block some one or two of their block nineteens are very good. Qatar they've had trouble with with nineteens. I was I was happy with this jump. Yeah, that's always you know a great thing if you're working on something, and yeah. then you see, you see the results coming. Um, you know, so that's I think that makes the coach happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. The problem, the problem was with round three, we are with Qatar, very strong with block 21, and we had the worst jump. So, so Cody, we have to go back to the drawing board on, on that one. Yeah, that is a good round. I mean, I tell you, Schmidt, this um, they are not that far behind any of the two top teams. Uh, I mean, they, they are moving slowly but safely. They're getting to that um, top level. Yeah. They, there's one thing that I don't like that they do is they pick up a lot of high grips um, where if you watch Hayabusa, they go for a lot of uh, wrist grips. And the wrist grips give you a little bit more flexibility. It's cleaner, it's soft, softer, it's lighter. Um, and I, I, that would be the next step for, for us with, with Qatar Tigers to try and pick up more wrist grips. And uh, yes, it goes back into the tunnel. We need to slow things down, go into the tunnel. But this is just, it's a full-on race. This was a good jump. They scored 40. It was a good score for them. But again, you're up against uh, world champions. And Hayabusa was quicker from the 17 finish, the finish of the block to the star. 
And you can see with Qatar Tigers, they finish the 17. They have pretty good 17s, but then it takes them a little bit longer to get into the star each round, each page. And with Hayabusa, by the time it, it's part of the, it's almost part of the block. It's very clean too, you know. And all, I mean, all the top teams yeah. are paying a lot of attention to make to make it really clean now. Well, I, th I think uh, um, Gary, we have seen more than enough now um, of this um, impressive best in the world four way um, performances, and also we have to move on. I don't want to hold you up too long, and. Um, The, uh, the audience got all the news that they can handle for now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too much? Including myself. So we'll, we'll, we'll follow up very soon, as soon as possible. And um, thank you very much, Gary, again, for taking the time. And, and You're hope very you welcome, make, Kurt. And, um, hope you will make it home safely and to all the yes. destinations where <laughs> you have to go. Yeah, yeah me too, me too. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Oh, well, thank you, Gary.